fun. I'm Kate Rocher for Red Carpet Report, and tonight we're at the red carpet premiere of Trumbo, starring Brian Cranston, all about the Hollywood screenwriter who was blacklisted during the 1950s for his involvement in the Communist Party. Yes, so many USC people here tonight. How do you think that USC prepared you for the real world? Well, it prepared me for making films. I went to film school there, and uh, I actually uh, studied with a blacklisted director, Edward really? Dimitrik. Yeah, it was one of the Hollywood Ten. So uh, it prepared me in very specific ways to, to deal with this story. So how much did you know about the blacklist and about Dalton Trumbull before you started doing this movie? I knew, I knew some about it because I, I had certainly read about it. I, Edward Dimitrik told us stories about his experiences. Uh, and I, I knew the films and the, the writing. I knew Spartacus, I knew Roman Holiday, and I loved those films. And when I heard about him also being seen as an enemy of the state and, and that he was part of a situation where people in Hollywood, producers, writers, actors, studio heads, were actually trying to destroy each other's lives and careers, it was a pretty uh, irresistible story. What aspects of the real life story did you really want to make sure were portrayed in the film? Uh, mostly that he wasn't just victimized and persecuted, he actually found a way to use writing um, his own wit, his own, his own <laughs> way with words that was driven by his own passion and soul to, uh, to expose the blacklist to be the ridiculous exaggeration, uh, this, uh, a horrible application of, of, a, of a real th threat but overextended in an exaggerated way. I mean, that he exposed that really was moving to me. Very inspiring. Yeah, completely inspiring, and you know, one hopes one would uh, behave as morally and nobly as Trumbo did in those days. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. Thank Congratulations. You. Congratulations. Nice meeting you. Yeah, nice to meet you. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, like, and leave me a comment on who your favorite Brian Cranston character is.